Hey everybody, bang bang, gang gang, we back again baby, back at it again with Gangish. And I wanna to talk to you tonight about my homegirl Jojo. I just spent the afternoon with my homegirl Jojo. My homegirl Jojo did 17 years flat in the Colorado Department of Corrections. Um, there's a whole story behind what happened, uh, but uh, two bodies ended up getting handed to her. She's one of the homegirls from my hood. She's actually uh, one of the top homegirls from my hood. She was actually one of the only ones that's ever put other women on. Uh, she's got some rank as far as women are concerned. Uh, the homegirl JoJo's with the business. And um, so anyway, uh, I just spent the afternoon with her, you know, and we got to talking a lot and we, we talked about freedom. You know what I mean? Freedom in general. Uh, this woman has three children, you know, that she had to watch uh, grow up from behind the walls. Um, and she ended up catching this case with one of the other homies uh, from the hood. Um, and it was a self-defense type situation that turned, uh, it turned south and turned into something else. And the homegirl stayed, you know, ten toes down. Like all these cats on YouTube talk about, this woman did it. She stared two bodies down, held her mud, did her time, and now she's out on the street. Um, and I, I, she gets all the respect and love and everything that she deserves from me, as far as I'm concerned. I got nothing but love uh, for the woman, and, and you have to respect, uh, you know, what she did. Um, and it just made me think about a lot of these cats on on youtube the cats on youtube in general everybody's they're so concerned that oh well, you're you know 10 toes down and this fool's a rider and I, i'd never tell hey you know what i seen some serious individuals roll man i seen some serious serious individuals roll it up and just say i'm done with this and it, it, you know it, it's a different situation on I me mean, i was facing 72 years at 17 years old now I realize now that there was no way they could have given me that much time, but I was very young at the time and I didn't know any better. So I believed what they were saying. They were saying, hey, homie, we're going to stretch you out. We're going to stretch you out on this. You robbed a cop's house. You're going to prison for a long time. So I know what it feels like to sit in that tank and be like, Ugh, this sucks, dude. You know what I mean? Because they want you to tell on somebody and you have to stand on your principles. And your family's looking at you, you know what I mean? Your family's like, eh, they're all pissed off at you. They want you, they were, chances are your family told you to stop doing this because that's what most families do whenever you start messing up. I don't know about your family, but my family, they've seen it coming and they're like, hey, you're messing up. Uh, please stop doing what you're doing and I continue to do what I was doing. So then you're sitting in jail, your whole family's pissed at you, your girlfriend's probably banging somebody else, you done lost your job, any money that you had put away is slowly being eaten away, right? If you do still have a girl, she's just chewing through that shit, right? Um, you know, it, it, they took a chunk out of you whenever you got hit, right? Because you got hit with some dope and they take your money and then you got to bond out. So all of a sudden you had from, you know, oh, oh my re-up was 10 grand and I had two, three grand pocket money. And now that two, three grand pocket money has gone. The 10 grand is gone. The 10 grand in dope and money is gone because they hit you for that whenever you got hit. So now you got no money and anything you had. Okay, so now sell the chain. You got to sell the chain to try to stay floating. And I need some commissary and I need this and that. And the girl's not happy about whatever, right? Before you know it, homie, you're in a bad way. Everything you had was gone. That money is your control on power. That's your grip on power in the outside world. All, everything you worked for is just slipping away right in front of you right you sure you can stay 10 toes down then you find out your girl's getting banged out by one of your friends and you want to bash that fool you want to run something up in him you stay up all night thinking about running I'll run a blade up in this fool he's over there touching on my woman dog that fool was supposed to be my homie I was good with this dude Right? Can you stay 10 toes down while your lady's getting railed? Your baby mama's getting railed. All your money's gone. All your power's gone. And your future. Your future's gone. Right? Because the people, they want your future. The government wants a chunk of your future. 
they want a chunk of that ass, right? The homegirl stayed 10 toes down and they took 17 years from her because she wouldn't tell. They figured out a way to make it to where the official testimony says that the homie only murked one person, but that she had convinced him to murk the other one. That's how cold these people came after her because she didn't want to tell. That's what she had to plead to. She had to plead to convincing him to do something because they wanted something. They were like, give us this or we're gonna give you a life sentence. So she took her 27 piece and she stood 10 toes down. I'm just asking, you know, could, could you do it too? I see the pain in her eyes when she talks about her kids. And her voice cracks a little bit. She talks about her kids growing up. She, you know, she's still 10 toes down so she don't cry. She don't let it come out, right? But it's there. You can hear the pain. Shut up, fool. 17 years without your children. She didn't even pull the trigger. They didn't even accuse her of pulling a trigger. Never accused her of pulling a trigger. No one's ever accused her of it. I just think YouTube's funny. A lot of people like to get on here and judge other people. And then they got a, you know, they got some way they feel that things are supposed to be. And then they look at the things around them and they say, oh, well, you know, he don't, he don't wear his pants right or, or whatever. His state's different than mine. His state gets down different than mine. Or, you know, I don't like the way he does his videos or maybe he talks funny or something like that. You know, he don't, he doesn't fit the mold that I think somebody who's a gangster or whatever is supposed to fit into so i think that there, there's something wrong with them you know what i mean or they do their shit their their cripping's different their their blood is different their their whatever is different right man i need to get stoned i don't know about y'all but i need to get stoned something fierce here we go i, wrote, I lost my rolling papers Smoking out of this damn pipe. I know that the majority of people that you're going to meet that create videos on YouTube, despite what their videos are about, um, are not going to be what you would consider 10 toes down these these metrics that people are using to say this is you know this is what i am i'm a uh, i'm a real one right that's what they say i'm a real uh, whatever you know what i mean uh, i don't know you can't say the n-word no more you know what i'm talking about though. that's what real one means that's what's so funny to me I've seen these shirts that say like real one they'll be like oh him right there that's a real one well that just means real n-word right so this is like the white people are just doing it anyway. <laughs> it's like, we're gonna use this damn word, no matter. <laughs> anyway, that's all I gotta say, man. Shout out to the homegirl JoJo. Ten toes down, homie, for 17 years. Could you do it? Later.